All right, French runner. Bill, did you see this French cunt at the Olympics? I love French cunts. I'm a part French cunt. Um, he's a marathon runner. Knocked over all the water on the table so no one after him could get a sip. Oh, wow. Wow. I did not see that. That is amazing. Um, sorry, I, just, I was so enamored watching the guy. Wow, he knocked them all down and then just grabbed the... Oh, they're in water bottles. That is amazing. Hey, what's up, buddy? Am I being too loud? Well, I came up to the top of the house, so I wouldn't be loud. Am I saying the bad words? Okay, well, maybe go down. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm almost done here. Can you close the door? I thought I'd close the door. Well, there's that conversation. She just walked out of me. Um, that's hilarious. And you know what's great about that? Is there'll now be a new rule saying you can't do that, and it'll be named after him. Um, <clears throat> well, you know, to quote the Tampa Bay Lightning fans, it, Dude, it's legal! <laughs> Nothing against it unless the Patriots do it. Then it's fucking cheating. That's one of those things. If somebody with a Patriots logo did that, there would be a massive suspension. But if anybody else does it, it's just like it's a little gamesmanship. Um, I think it's fucking hilarious. Because there is nothing to say that you can't fucking do that. Um, and I would love to hear his excuse. I was so tired. I was hallucinating. I just reached out and it took me a second to register that I was touching water bottles, specifically 24 of them in a row. But on the 25th and last one, I realized I was actually touching a water bottle and it was an illusion, at which point my hand closed and I was able to pick it up. I apologize. My heart goes out to the other racers. Um, I think that's fucking hilarious.